Yeah, it's, it's so crazy. But I mean, you could just ask me the question again. Uh, and, and you know, the crazy thing is, I'm, I'm unable to record your portion of the questions, but I'll just re-ask the question, you know what I'm saying? So that um, it could be recorded as well. So now you, you ask me, what question now? So, so you want you want to know? Uh, you're asking me, what is my name and my title, and how I I I, I came to to that conclusion? Well, I I didn't come to no conclusion, you know, brother. And I appreciate the fact that you reach out to me, um, you know, just just for the record. Uh, I had given you a card at one of the sweepstakes, and then you called me and. Um, started questioning me because you went on our website and found some information. So, you know, um, by that, I, I applaud you for reaching out, you know what I'm saying? And um, just to answer your question, my name is Aya Zaab. I'm a priest and officer of a thousand in the Israelite School of Universal Practical Knowledge, which the acronym ISUPK stands for. So, when you ask that question, I know you have other questions behind that specific question, because normally when I talk to people, they don't normally ask me what is my name and my title. You know what I'm saying? So it's clear that you probably did some research and you have other questions that's burning in your mind. So just go ahead and ask me. What, what, what's the other question or the more pertinent question that you want to ask me? Right. Okay, so, so the brother, the brother just, just said um, he was kind of intrigued by the information that he watched in some of our videos, especially um, the Unplugged from the Matrix, because um, I was really more talking to him about that before I gave him um, my information so that he could contact the UPK, go online, check out the website, check out our different podcasts and stuff. Um, and I was showing him at that specific moment the Unplugged from the Matrix that we do every Friday from... 12 to 2 p.m. Eastern time. And and there was there was, you know what I'm saying, uh one of one of the uh podcasts or, or the broadcast that he watched that he was, you know what I'm saying? He he was kind of interested in and 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 this is why we're having a conversation now because he reached out. So now he just asked me um you know uh what what what, what did you ask me, brother? Cuz I don't want to misrepresent your question. So I'll just reiterate your question when you ask it to me now. So what was the question you asked me? All right, I understand. So the brother is asking me, um, am I just a regular dude, you know, um, with knowledge and then, you know, um, I'm part of this organization and stuff like that. I'm going I'm to say this, brother. Two things. Firstly, and I, and I appreciate the fact that you, you know what I'm saying, you reached out. And I'm, I'm, and I ask your permission because I'm recording this at the time of you calling me. You know, and uh, so I'm going to make a clip out of this and put this out on our, our, all of our social media platforms, especially Unplug from the Matrix. But it's unfortunate that, uh, you know, I can't hear your voice because of the scenario of when you call me and what I'm doing. So my answer to your question is I'm not an ordinary person. That's the first thing. Right? I'm not an ordinary person. What, what am I? That's, that's what you're asking? Okay. Well, I'm a superhero. And that might sound far-fetched, but that's the truth. I'm the Negro who will go inside of the projects and the bad communities where black people reside and stop them from smoking weed and cigarettes and eating pork and getting high blood pressure and diabetes 
I'm that guy that will go in to those communities and say, we need to stop killing each other and invite them to classes so that they can change their lives because my life was changed through the same process. You understand? So by me doing this and having the ability to at least get one or two people. Remember the scripture says that many are called, but few are chosen. So the one or two that I can get and I have changed their lives under commanding general Johanna that makes me a superhero because I don't see the churches doing that I don't see Muslims doing that as a matter of fact all these other denominations and so called religions what they do is they just sell you a fake dream and a fake hope and fake reality you understand my leader commanding general Johanna he comes straight out of the mouth of the Bible, of God and Christ. You know? Which means that he taught us, and me specifically, who is in the interview right now, which you are on the phone, he taught me to go out and wake my people up and let them understand the reality that they're living in, according to the Bible according to the word of God and Christ, not my words, according to the prophets, what has been said before. You understand? And to see people accepting and, and receiving that truth and that knowledge because I said it and I was told to go say it. That makes me a superhero. I'm more powerful than Batman, Robin, Superman, and every other type of fictional you know what I'm saying? Superhero character you could think of that was imagined by the mind of the most deceitful, dishonest, and wicked man or race of people on the face of the earth. And you know who I'm talking about. The second part of it is that I didn't ask for this. I was minding my business smoking weed. I was minding my business going to the strip clubs. I was minding my business having sex with anybody I wanted to have sex with. And then this voice called me. And I reached out to the voice and listened to what the voice had to say. Seven years later, I am Ayazaab. And I had to destroy and kill and murder and get rid of the old me. Why? Because the old me he was hindering my progress. He was hindering me from accomplishing what Christ wanted me to accomplish. The old me was hindering me from loving my people. And doing the right thing according to God. So I had to get rid of that motherfucker. Excuse my language. I had to get rid of the nigga. You know what I mean? So Brandon... You know what I mean? You have a white boy name, but I know you you black, you know what I'm saying? I do appreciate the fact that you reached out to me. I'm in the middle of trying to set up some stuff. I'm going over some stories for Unplugged from the Matrix, our podcast on Friday. You know what I mean? You should tune into that 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 podcast as well. You know, I'm from two from twelve, excuse me, to two PM Eastern time. We we're located in North Carolina. You know, I'm not just doing a shameless plug real quick. Because I'm going to put this out. You know what I'm saying, Brandon? I'm going to put this out because you caught me off guard. But this is the truth. You know what I mean? And you should try your best to go to the website, go in the classes, ask questions, do your 90 days, check in, and do stuff like, as we spoke about. You know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, you're a 27-year-old brother. You know what I mean? I don't mean to put your business out there like that, but... We had a, a long, fruitful conversation at the sweepstakes. So, you, you know, at the end of the day, you should just do that, man. You know what I mean? And get unplugged from the Matrix.